Hey everyone, this is Mike. Yesterday I finally got around to clearing Shiva Unreal because last week kind of flew under my radar, kind of forgot to do it to be honest. Uh, but seeing how I made a video talking about my expectations when they first announced this type of content, I thought now that I finally finished it, let's do kind of a first impressions uh, to see whether or not those expectations were fulfilled. Now, if you don't know what this content is, why you want to do it, where to unlock it, you can unlock it in Idleshire. It is going to be a new NPC next to Chloe Leapo. Uh, once you talk to him, you basically unlock Shiva Unreal, which is going to be a synced up version of Shiva Extreme. So, you know, back Shiva Extreme in a Realm Reborn level 50 endgame stuff. Uh, it's now going to be available at level 80 as a fight right there as an Unreal trial instead. And once you clear that fight, you get the opportunity to play the Four Hollows minigame, which is going to be your reward for beating this fight. And that is something that you can do once a week. Then the Four Hollows themselves, once you do the minigame, you basically try to uncover pictures in a grid. And then depending on what picture you uncover, you get points and those points can be spent in an exchange shop. Uh, for some rewards of your choosing, can be a minion amount, some other things, and I would imagine that they will add to this shop going into the future as well. So, Shiva Unreal is basically going to be our new weekly type of content, kind of like how we had the Wanderer's Tales of Chloe Iliapo, but instead of doing a bunch of different things to get stickers in a book, you just clear the fight once, and then you're pretty much done with that. Now, as I mentioned before, these Unreal Trials are basically old fights synced up to the new level cap of level 80, which, in my opinion, is something that is really good. I was very excited for this when I first heard about it, because I'm somebody that wasn't there when a lot of these fights came out. As I mentioned before, I started playing towards the end of Heaven's Ward, so I missed a lot of the old cool fights. For example, Thorden is one of the fights that I'm really looking forward to, because it was a really cool one. I keep hearing amazing stories about that one, and even though I have farmed it, I have gotten the bird to mount from it, I didn't really do it when it was minimum item level. And that is something that I am really looking forward to doing because Torden was a really cool fight. And there's a handful of other fights out there and I really would like to experience as if they were the current endgame content. And that is exactly what these Unreal Trials are doing. Now, I do get it that a lot of people, or some people at least that I know of, aren't super happy with this content. Like, for example, these fights technically have been in the game for six years, and they're just bringing them up to the current endgame for a few months, so that people that, like, you can basically experience them at level 80, and then they get rotated out for something else. And I get it that some people might prefer to get new content out there, rather than an old fight kind of, like, made endgame again. On the other hand, for people like me that weren't there when these fights were current, and even for people that want to just do these fights again for nostalgia's sake, I think this is a really cool thing. For example, I started towards the end of Heaven's Ward just when Sophia Extreme came out. That was my first endgame primal fight that I still really love doing to this date. I soloed it a few times on Dark Knight and Warrior just for fun. Uh, and I would really like to be able to experience that fight again in a team-oriented fashion with some of my friends. And the Unreal Trials would basically be a way for me to be able to experience that fight at Endgame. Because one of the major issues that I have with Final Fantasy XIV is that whenever you want to do old content, you need to sink yourself down. And sinking down is never fun, even when it comes down to just doing roulette, old dungeons, old, uh, like for example, alliance raid roulette or something. You're going to be sinking yourself down in level, losing a bunch of your skills, a bunch of your tools, like for example if you're a healer, healers right now play really well, because you have so many healing tools, but if you sink yourself down to level 50, all of a sudden you lose pretty much all of those healing tools, and it's going to feel very bare bones, it's not going to feel very good to play, and it's the same for tanks, it's the same for DPS players. It just doesn't feel that good anymore to play at level 50 or at level 60 because of all of the ability pruning that has happened over the years as we go into the expansions. And of course, every time that we get new skills introduced in the new expansion, it's really fun to play around with those skills and your job is designed with all of those skills in mind for the end game content. And then sinking yourself down going minimum item level in some of these old fights just doesn't feel that good. Also, with Shadowbringers being released, uh, they also made a change to the formula, how main stat increases and such are calculated. So all of the content pre-Shadowbringers is actually being made so much easier when it comes down to HP check, H uh, DPS check and also the healing check. Uh, for example, on Monday evening, me and my static went into UCOB and it was just a stomp. Like, for example, the DPS check was non-existent. We were skipping mechanics that we didn't even think were possible and such. Um, so even for an ultimate fight, this is already the case, so even if you were to think then, what is it gonna be for minimum item extreme primals, well it's gonna be even more of a stomp 
if it's already such an issue in ultimate fights uh, which is supposed to be the hardest fights in the game so there being an unreal variant of these fights available for a limited time unfortunately enough i do think is a pretty cool idea it's also going to be something that you're only going to be doing once a week so it's not like you'll get burned out on it as fast as you might on some other extreme trials um, because you're going to be just like farming them 99 times for the mount or something like that unless you of course get very lucky and get the mount as a drop um, but I do think it's a pretty cool thing. Now, they are going to be rotating these Unreal Trials around, as I mentioned. Every patch there is going to be a new Unreal Trial for you to take on. I think, I believe at least, uh, that there will be two in the next patch, because I believe they wanted to do uh, both Shiva and Titan for this patch, but they didn't get around to doing Titan because they didn't want to traumatize the player base again uh, with what was Titan Extreme back then. Uh, back in a realm reborn but i do believe they want to do two per patch now even if they don't even if it's only one trial per patch it'll still be fine for me to just farm that one trial once a week uh, to basically be able to play that four hollows i think that is pretty fine now the one thing that i do have an issue with is the fact that these are going to be rotated in and out and that is going to be creating some fomo fear of missing out it is never fun for people that, for example, take a break during this patch or new players coming in that only start playing the next patch or something like that to come at endgame and be like, oh, I was really looking forward to doing this Shiva Unreal fight, but all of a sudden they can't because Shiva Unreal has been rotated out and right now we have Titan Unreal, for example. So that is something that I would have loved to see to be added as an option. Like, for example, maybe Shiva Unreal does not become this patches unreal trial to farm for the four hollows minigame but maybe shiva unreal is still kept in the game as a fight that you can do whenever you want to do it because of course they are going to be making unreal fights of all of these old extreme trials and then for example when an extreme trial that you really like to do in my case sophia extreme when that one is rotated out i would still love to be able to go back and do that one every now and then with some friends of mine for example when new players come in I'm able to like convince some other of my friends to come into the game. I would definitely love to be able to introduce them to this fight. That was my first, so to speak. Um, that would be a really cool thing. Now, of course, I'm not quite sure if they're actually going to be rotating it out in the sense that I'm talking about right now, that you won't be able to do the fight anymore. I would love to see this just stay as an option available to us that we can still do these fights. And, of course, this could also lead into some really cool things into the future. Who knows, right? Now they're doing it with Extreme Trials, but maybe later down the line they'll do something similar with Ultimate... Uh, not, not necessarily Ultimate Fights, but with, like, Savage Fights, Dungeons, Ultimate Fights maybe as well, that they will sync that up to your current level... Uh, that being level 80 at the moment, of course, and then level 90 in the next expansion is something that could be really cool for the future. Maybe instead of having an unsync button where you can just like undersize party and then just like go stomp on some old fights as the current max level. But maybe they'll make it so that you can upsync the fights so that you can now do all the fights, all the raids, all dungeons at current item level, at current maximum level, because, well, item level technically doesn't matter, as I believe there is an item level sync on Shiva Unreal, which I believe is 430, if I'm not mistaken, um, but feel free to correct me if I'm mistaken that one. Um, but yeah, basically, it would be a really cool thing that they could just up-sync the fights instead, because, as I said, right now we have these jobs that feel incredibly good to play with all of the tools that we have, and having to basically sync ourselves down to an earlier expansion level is going to make us lose a lot of tools that makes us lose our job identity and basically makes it feel a whole lot worse. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about for today. Unreal Trials, I am pretty happy with the way that they implemented them in the game. All of my expectations were pretty much met of the content. Yes, I know it's technically not new content. Um, but I don't really mind it all that much. There's probably also not that many resources going into this. So just having this as an extra add-on to do every week. Uh, I am definitely not going to be complaining about some extra stuff to do once a week. Uh, even if it only takes like an hour or something to do. I definitely do quite enjoyed this one. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what else they're going to be doing in the future as well. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this piece of content. Have you been getting lucky in Party Finder? Because I've been hearing some horror stories from my friends as well that they're having less luck clearing Shiva and Real than, for example, the new Extreme Trial that came out in patch 5.3, which in my opinion is a little bit harder than Shiva and Real herself. Um, but yeah, I still have had a lot of fun with that. But with that being said, I want to thank you for watching, I want to thank my Patreons for supporting me, and I'll see you in the next one.